Hey guys, it's Raiden here. Welcome back to the channel. Today on Red River Rail Fan, we're at the Discount Model Train Store in Addison, Texas. Let's take a look at everything they have and let's see what I bought. Let's get to it. Located in the northern part of the DFW area, Discount Model Trains in Addison, Texas is a great place to buy model trains. They specialize in HO scale, as most everything in this store was HO scale, which is perfect for a rail fanner and a model railroader like me, who specializes in HO scale. As we walk throughout the store, there were so many things in there. There were things all the way from tiny HO scale sticker graffiti all the way up to several hundred dollar high-end locomotives. There were some awesome custom models in there, such as a custom Big Boy number 4009, and some other brass locomotives in there that I kind of wanted, but I didn't have the money at the time to buy. They had plenty of little detailing stuff, all the way from HO and N scale people to high-end paints. They also had a bunch of Woodland Scenics uh, craft stuff. That was really interesting. They also had a bunch of interesting custom sets and kits. There's this RC Colo train, and at the bottom shelf, you can see all those custom buildings. They had this 282 Pennsylvania locomotive, these little European locomotives I wasn't too interested in, and this crocodile locomotive, which I thought was really, really interesting. But as I said earlier, you can see all these little detailed pieces in work. Everything on this layout right here was used from things that they sell in the store, as I was told by the owner of the shop. It was very interesting, and... The entire time we were there, they had all, all the trains running, except for in this clip, of course. Here is their little ad train, which consists of a New York Central A and B F unit set, and then these little custom, I believe, double O scale box cars and a cleaning car. But they had plenty of things to pick from, all types of freight cars, anything you could possibly imagine in a model train store. They had plenty of HO scale stuff, which made me plenty happy. But as you can see, they had all this stuff, and down here on the end, they had some custom items, like this Chicago and Northwestern locomotive, which I was really tempted to buy, but I didn't, because they didn't have $75 to spare at the time. Fun little tidbit, I actually caught the Chicago and Northwestern heritage unit that night. So, here's that clip. In this aisle, they had plenty of freight cars. They had some MKT cars, which I really liked. I really liked the MKT. One day I hope to have an F unit set of MKT locomotives and maybe some freight units. We'll see. And then they also had these really cool snow plows, which I really liked, but they were pretty expensive and I didn't have a real snowy scene to use them on. Then they had these, uh, I believe those are used in iron pouring, like molten iron. I'm not too sure, but I've seen some videos online but they had plenty of these HO scale cars. They had box cars, they had pallet cars, they had auto racks, they had so much stuff, it was ridiculous. Then they had all this track, which, and like custom bridges and everything, which I really liked, because at some of the other model train stores I've been to, they didn't have very much track, but they did have a lot of like cheap custom cars, which I wasn't too big of a fan of. So this is a great step up in the last train store I've been to. Oh, I can just see foamers chomping at the bit to get to these Polar Express items. Uh, no, it was pretty cool. They had these O-Scale Polar Express stuff, but they didn't have the HO-Scale Polar Express, which I was kind of hoping for because I wanted to see it in real life. Now let's take a look at what I bought at, while at the train store. 
We have our bag right here. First thing we see is this Royal Gorge route, uh, Railroad flyer. They had a bunch of these flyers that they were just kind of giving out. Uh, this is actually a railroad my grandparents went on in Colorado. It was really pretty from the videos I saw. Okay. And this is my new uh, bottom loading, or sorry, belly dump uh, Chicago Northwestern coal car. Uh, really detailed. Uh, both these things right here, they were $12 a piece on the clearance rack. I was surprised this was on the clearance rack and I'm not even too sure if it was supposed to be there, but I still bought it because this is a really quality model. Um, it has metal axles, but it has plastic wheels, which is probably the only downside of that. And right here is an ATNSF bay window caboose. Pretty detailed. It has all the handrails. It has metal handrails, um, metal brakes. Uh, only problem with this one that I've seen so far is that the uh, lead weight is up against this wall. It's supposed to be laying down, but um, it kind of <laughs> falls over. We were messing with it at the store. We put it up on the counter and it just, oh, it's up. Well, it just fell over at the store and the guy kind of looked at me like, what did you do? And I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of funny. But yeah, that's what I got. I'm gonna need to switch the couplers out on these because they just have little horn couplers, like old Bachman horn couplers. Uh, good thing about this one, it has metal spring-loaded Katy couplers, which is actually pretty cool. Oh look, the weight fell back down. Uh, these both do have plastic wheels though, so that also that'll also be something I have to change. But other than that, this was really good. Both of these train cars, twenty-four dollars total. Um, it was pretty good. I highly recommend that train store if you're ever in the area and looking for a good deal. Before I close out this video, I would like to thank you guys for everything. Thank you so much for getting me almost to 500 subscribers. Let's just push it right over the edge and maybe even hit 1,000 by the end of the year. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for all your support. I really love reading all your comments and I really like seeing all your likes roll through throughout the day. It really, really brightens my day. But out of all 489 of you at the time of making this video, there is one subscriber who I would really like to point out today. Mr. Kalen Stevens. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you for watching all of my videos. And yes, this is Braden from Braden's Train Show telling you happy birthday. Thank you for watching my videos. And maybe someday we can go and watch trains together. I don't know. But happy birthday, buddy. I'll see you sometime. So keep watching my videos. I really enjoy hearing that the young people are watching my videos. I really enjoy sharing the history and the knowledge and the fun of railroading to the younger generations. And thank you so much for watching all my videos. It really brightened my day getting to hear that you and your mama have been watching my videos. I don't know. It just makes me so happy. But happy birthday, buddy. I hope you enjoy the Amtrak Heartland Flyer as much as I did. And just have a great time. Make the best of it. But thank you guys so much for watching. This is Braden Hamilton signing off on this video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.